Today we got a Tucson Sentra and we're going to take the front and rear door panels off. Uh, that's pretty easy to do on this car, not much to it. Um, you basically have to take a little cover off of here. You're going to take this switch off, um, look for a bolt down there. Um, the back ones are a little bit different. Uh, the back ones do have a bolt here. They don't have a bolt under here on the switch, but they do have a bolt under here. And then the back ones also have a different little, like a sensor down there. So. Um, if you don't have to take it off, I would recommend not doing it unless you're really going to get to get the panel completely off. Just make sure you have the key off so that you don't run any issues. Uh, first thing I do is lower the windows on here and then um, and then we could start taking these off. Now you do want to come in here by the lock. You don't want to come in here in the front. Uh, the front has a little like a little um, point on there that goes in. It's like a little guide. If you try to go from the front, uh, you will break it. So you want to make sure to come in from the side over here. <clears throat> and then here on the on the switch, you just want to you can either use a screwdriver or uh, a little, little thin flat screwdriver or like some kind of a plastic tool um, if you've got something like this uh, just to get in there so that you don't you know you don't mess with the leather here or the vinyl whatever this is. Um, you could just kind of get down in here and then just and then just pry up on it. And it should come right off. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you in and let's get started. So first thing we want to do is we want to come in here on the side. Um, I like to use a really thin screwdriver and just kind of get in here and then just kind of pry towards me and it usually pops it right out. And this is what I'm talking about. There's like a little thing there. So when you put it back in, that side goes in first and then it snaps right back into place. And then the next thing would be is we're going to go ahead and take the 10 millimeter bolt. It's also a Phillips head, so if you could do either or. the bolt there so the next step here would be to take off this switch so like I said if you have a really thin screwdriver you can actually do that just get in there and just go straight down and then you could pry up or if you have like a plastic tool you can get down in there and then just kind of pry up and help the switch just kind of pull up on it and then just work your way up to the front of the switch as you're pulling up comes off fairly easy Guys, so on these when you, you go ahead and then you just you're just gonna go ahead and uh, push down on the little tab here and pull out to get the switch out and the same thing with uh, with the other part of the harness it looks like it has a security tab but it does not have a security tab on here on either side so once you go ahead and unplug the switch there's a 10 millimeter bolt right in here so we want to go and take that off the next step is going to be to go ahead and pull the panel. Um, you could use a plastic tool. You get one of like one of the edges, and then just kind of pull towards you. Let's work your way around. Same thing up here in the front part. Just kind of pull towards you. And then once you got the panel loose, we're going to lift it up. Now there's two cables behind here, one for this and one for the lock. And all you do is just pull those cables away from you because there's like a, actually like a hook type thing like this. The cable sits in there so you just want to pull the cable away. Take your fingers and just kind of pull it away. And then uh, you can get the cables out. One of them has a ball socket which is the bottom one. And then the top one has like a, like a hook like kind of like this where it hooks down in. So we're going to go ahead and lift the panel up. And then you just want to pull away from you and unhook it. Go ahead and slide the cables through and get that out. So these are the cables I was talking about. So you see like there's like a little cut out here. So basically all you're going to do is just kind of pull away and then pull it out of the socket. The, the, ball, the ball socket one is on the bottom and then the, the top one has that little angle I was talking about. Just pull away and then lift it out and you get those out of the way. And that does it pretty much uh, for the for removing the front panel. I mean, if you wanted to replace the speaker, I believe these are 10 millimeter bolts. Those also come out. Uh, you would probably need some type of a spacer in here in order to put a different speaker. This one actually comes with the Bose system, so I, I don't think she'll be replacing this anytime soon. Um, this one has the nicer audio in there. Um, so now we're going to go to the backs, and uh, it's it's similar, but I'm I'm going to bring you in and then show you like where to take everything off. So the back ones. Same thing, we're going to come in here by the lock, we're going to go ahead and remove that little cover, and then we're going to take the 10 millimeter bolt off of there. Um, the switch, same thing, we're going to come in here, pop that switch out, there's no bolt behind here, 
but there's actually one right down here in this area. And that's where you probably need a magnet. And you probably need a, a long enough socket uh, to get in there and, and, and take it off. And then after that, it's just pulling it off and then lifting it up, taking these cables off. And there is like a sensor on the back door. At least on the other side there was. I'm pretty sure there's one on this one. I'm not sure what it's for, um, but you want to make sure if you're gonna if you're gonna take it off and unplug it, make sure that the key is off. I don't know what that sensor is for, so we want to make sure not to trigger anything. Um, so make sure that the key is off when you disconnect that. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll show you where that sensor is as we get in here. Uh, so let me bring you in and let's get started. also got that little piece there so when you put it back in make sure we put that first side in and then we snap it into place you have a 10 millimeter bolt right here also with the Phillips head next step is to take the switch off so we want to get under here and then just kind of pry up gently help help prying it up with your hand once you get that part off and then just work your way forward on the switch and then on this back one um, I don't know if you can get your finger to push down on the on the little um, thing here or you can use just like a little screwdriver and just kind of push down and then it unplugs now down here there's an actual bolt inside of this area right here I'm gonna probably block your view a little bit while I take it off because I can't really get in there um, but there's a 10 millimeter bolt. And this is where you'll probably need a magnet to be able to get that bolt out or just shake the door and probably get it out that way as well. Now this bolt is longer than the one on top. The top one's silver, this one's black. So the next step is going to be to go ahead and try to find an area where we can come in and pull towards us to get the panel off. And over here on the front part of this, there's like a lip here. You can actually just kind of pull on it. Try to get your pry tool under here. And then just kind of work your way around. Once we get it loose, then we're gonna lift the panel up and then we're gonna disconnect those two cables just like we did earlier. Just kind of pull away from you, take it out of the socket, pull away, and then lift out of the other one. <clears throat> so now we already unplugged this, so there's two other plugs that are behind here that need to be unplugged. One of them is the actual speaker. And that's a brown plug. You just push down and then pull it out. Fairly simple. And then the other plug it's going to be similar. It's a black plug. You push down and pull that. And that's this sensor I was talking about. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> but it's in here. I don't know what it's mounted for. But I don't know if it has something to do with the door lock or something. But it basically, you pull it here and then pull that out. And then the speaker's down here. Same thing. You just push down and then pull out. And that pretty much does it. Um... For the back doors. The back doors do not have any speakers in here. I believe they're in the rear tray. Um, and then it's reverse order. You know, make sure you put these back on there and make sure that they snap into place. Make sure that you plug this back into that sensor. I'm actually going to plug that back in right now because I'm working on it. I'm just going to hang the door panel on there because uh, I need to turn on the key. I don't want to make sure I don't trigger anything. But anyways, um, that's pretty much removing the front and rear door panels on a 2020 Nissan Sentra. I believe the 21 might be the same. I haven't done a 21 yet, but this is a 2020. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. Thanks for watching.